Hello, this is Sanjay Sane from Sanjay Academy. In this video, you are going to see the importance of pipelines or the pipeline syntax in scikit-learn and how we use it and why we use it sometimes. Let's see that. Let us see one example with train test split. Now in this scenario, we are using support vector machines and we know very well that support vector machines performs very well after we scale the data. So first of all, before the support vector machines SVC algorithm is applied, we need to first of all scale the X train and X test and then only do the need pull. Let us do it with standard scaling. So here we have added the statement standard scalar, importing of standard scalar and we are going to use that standard scalar. To begin with we do the trend test split. Now after we have done the trend test split, let us first of all scale the trend set. Before scaling, we need to instantiate the standard scalar. Hence, we have done this in line number 22. Now, we will be applying fit underscore transform on the extreme. We don't require to do anything with white rain because white rain already is a scaled one with values between 0 to 1. So hence let us scale extreme. Here I am going to do this first without applying the pipeline syntax. So first of all what we are doing is we are scaling the train set accordingly we need to train the test set also. While we train the test set we require to apply dot transform function instead of fit transform function on the test set. Let's do that and name that object as xtstscl. With this flow what we have is the following. The x train which we had as one of the elements of the trend set, the features part of it. We are scaling it as a result of which one object is getting created which is STRN SCL. Now, similarly, the similar processing we are going to do by transform on the test set, and we have the element XTST SCL. Now, what we plan to do is we want to apply the model, whatever will be our model model dot fit now instead of calling x train over here we will be calling x trn scl why because this is a scaled version of the trend set and y train as it is well hence as decided we first do dot fit on the x train SCL and do prediction on the test set. Over here we are predicting actually the probabilities. And this is the way we use the scaling with modeling with our scikit-learn functions with obtained probabilities we can see the ROC AUC score Let's do the same thing now with pipeline. So to begin with, we need to import the pipeline function. Let's do that. On line number six, you see the pipeline function has been imported. Let's now create a pipeline. We need to create the pipeline with the argument of these steps, which we see in the help documentation. 
now actually this argument demands from us the least of tuples and hence we are forming the least of tuples now in our flow what we first are doing is we are going to first take the data scale it and then apply the model while predicting also the same thing scale and then apply the prediction of the model now you see over here the two operations have a particular sequence so the operation is scaling is the first operation and the second operation is going to be model building whatever the model you use whatever you the scaler you use or whatever other preprocessor you use let's do it with this pipeline syntax here i need to first specify the scaler scaler if i specify now when i specify the scaler i need to also specify some string related to that particular operation so over here i specify a string as std you can keep the string as per your choice the second operation which we plan to have is svm so i have now the model svm and it's necessary that this svm model or whatever model you are going to use needs to be instantiated first so that it can be called over here in the pipeline function hence the pipeline has been established now now over here the role of xtrn scl and xtst scl the two objects which we had created earlier becomes a completely redundant one we will be directly be applying the pipe function on all these things actually the fit transform and transform which we have done over here also don't need to be done now so entirely everything is now going to be managed by that pipe object so directly without doing any other operation we are straight away going to call fit x train comma y train so what is what is it going to do so pipeline basically the pipeline object which we have set over here will be first of all scaling the train data then after scaling it will be building the model on it and once the model will be built the model will be re reusable for prediction similarly we are going to apply predict prova function for the same let's do it this time i am going to do it now i am copy pasting the code earlier and only i am going to simply replace this with pipe svm and also as xtst scl becomes redundant straight away the test set hence we have got the same output as you see so by applying the pipe over here pipe object over here we got rid of all these things which we were we were doing so creation of xtst xtrn scl and then applying fit function we straight away applied fit function so our pipe.svm completely managed the scaling and transforming pipeline scaling transforming and also model building pipeline along with the predictions everything was managed by our pipeline object feel free to try this code on any of the data set of your choice also try out any other scaler or any other model the way you want thanks for watching this video if you like this video please do click the like button for next updates from me please do subscribe to my channel thank you